What up guys, Joe the Magic Gather here, and today we're going to be talking about secret layers. Some people love them, some people hate them. I tend to fall into the category of loving them. I'm a big fan of Wizards of the Coast doing this. Uh, of course we all like the, the feeling and the gambling-ish feeling of opening up a random closed sealed booster pack and, you know, rolling the dice on are we going to get something good, are we going to get something bad. Uh, and that that high that you get when you do pull something really awesome from it. Of course, it doesn't always work out. If it always worked out, then there would be no value in pulling something awesome if every time you pulled something, it was great. So I'm a big fan of secret layers in the aspect of, you know what's coming in the box. Uh, I've found that most of the time you do get your value back from them. I want to say like, 80, 80 to 85% of the time, you're getting your value of what you paid for in the secret layer. Of course, there's been those secret layers where you look at the price of the cards. I know pretty much most people do that. They see what's gonna come in the secret layer. They look at the card list. Okay, and they go to TCG Player, or eBay, or Amazon, wherever you purchase singles from your local game store, and you compare. Okay, the secret layer is $39.99. The cards in the box, if I was to purchase them singled out, don't come or exceed the value of the $39.99 standard point, which I think they're around $39.99 at this point uh, per secret layer. So yeah, I feel like 80, 85% of the time they go above the value of the secret layer. Of course, there's the times where it's because of a certain artist or a certain theme, uh, the cards are not worth as much. So me personally, big fan, always purchase secret layers. Big fan of The Walking Dead, had to get that secret layer. I think I ended up purchasing 21 copies of The Walking Dead secret layer. One to open up and 20 to keep sealed and I don't know, hopefully at some point they're worth a lot. Um, I think this, is the, this was the Pride secret layer that they did for uh, Pride Month. Big fan of that. Uh, you know, I I liked when they did these boxes for secret layers. This is the this was the Shockland one. I'm a fan of these because I use them for storage a lot of the times. Uh, this is a bad example. This box is almost empty. Okay, this one right here, Godzilla lands filled with cards. I like to stack them and I use these for my rares and mythics. So. I put the color at the top, it's red, so it's all going to be red. Let's see if I could do this without knocking these over. Take just a stack out of here. And it's basically going to be all red, rares, and mythics, and stuff I've collected over time. So I liked the big box secret layers. I thought they were great. Uh, I know it's a lot of packaging just to have... I think there were five or six cards in here. It's a lot of packaging, but it's a good textured feel on it. <clears throat> the contrast with the gold on top, big fan of it. And like I said, beautiful for storing purposes. Really liked putting my mythic rares in, in there. Now this, this is the newer type of, actually this isn't even the newer type of secret layer. After the thick boxes, we got these thin boxes right here. So, they have a sleeve around them, pop out the sleeve, and then you got your box, which had the cards inside, just like that. And it minimized packaging. Uh, they were able to ship out more, so when a crazy person like me purchases 30 secret layers, you don't have these big bulky boxes, and you have to ship like two, three boxes to get them all. You could just ship one box and get a bunch of these, which, uh, yeah, I thought it was good, again, for me personally, that's how I like to store my rare and mythics by color uh, in the thick boxes. Those, you can't really use them for storing purposes. I mean, you could pack maybe 10, 20 cards in there. Uh, but now <clears throat> they've even updated even further and I don't have an example with me on hand, but now they send like a secret layer envelope. So it's an envelope about that big, flat. The cards are in there, flat. Um, as far as quality as, you know, I've had a couple of envelopes have like bent edges 
hasn't affected the cards on the inside, but them being shipped in like these flat envelopes, it just makes me a little nervous. This is way more secure. Your cards are not gonna get bent in there. Uh, you know, it's a pretty sturdy box for, for what it is. But the envelopes, again, I get it. It's good for the environment. I'm glad they went that way. But uh, I just get nervous about cards bending and, you know, all that stuff. We, no one wants to play with uh, bent up cards that they paid a premium price for. Uh, what else? Yeah, as far as new Secret Lair news going, uh, August Super Drop just ended. Purchased that one. I think the next Secret Lair to come out, from what I'm hearing, is there's going to be some Warhammer theme. I think it's supposed to come out around when the Commander decks come out, that there'll be a Warhammer 40k Secret Lair. Uh, I'm a big Secret Lair fan, guys. I've been collecting them since the beginning. I've always purchased multiple copies of each secret layer. Actually, that's a lie. The one secret layer I did not purchase and I still kick myself to this day and I will be purchasing them when they go on the secondary market is uh, the Fortnite one. I think the best card in there you could have pulled was uh, Grim Tutor, which is skinned as like some kind of vault. I don't know, I don't play Fortnite, so I'm not a big fan and know a lot about it, but uh, I just, I like to collect things. And secret layers for me are my favorite thing to collect. We know what's in the car. Uh, we know what's in the box uh, for the most part. You do have your secret layer card, which is always a secret. But I'm glad that they went away with uh, stained glass planeswalkers. I was getting kind of bored of that in the first batch of secret layers. It was always the War of the Sparks uh, stained glass planeswalkers. Cool idea in the beginning, but man, after a year and a half of secret layers and always getting these War of the Spark Planeswalkers, it kind of diminished the value of them in my mind. Uh, next, we saw the, the Jumpstart Lands in foil, which I get it. It's the cool art from Jumpstart Lands in foil treatment. But at the end of the day, they're just basic lands. There's nothing secret or like fun about getting that. With the newest batch, I've noticed I've been getting a lot of slivers in the envelope ones. It's a lot of those uh, full art slivers in foil. Uh, big fan of that. I just hope they mix it up moving forward. I don't wanna get the same thing for a year where we're always getting slivers because after a while, then those are gonna get devalued. I'm a big fan of thinking that cards should appreciate their value. Uh, I know the community, it's split 50-50. Some people think cards should be worth something and some people think cards should be worth five cents. I tend to fall into the category of thinking they should be worth something. We are spending our hard-earned money on these shiny cardboards. I think they should hold some value. I don't think every card should be five cents moving forward. And yeah, just so we have game pieces. At that point, just print out fake proxies and have the rule zero conversation if it's okay for you to do that. Uh, me personally, I think there's value in owning the real thing. Uh, just my opinion. So yeah, secret layers, big fan. Cards holding value, big fan. Uh, I don't hold it against anybody who thinks opposite of me. I know there's plenty of friends of mine who hate secret layers. They refuse to buy them. They think you should get your cards through cracking open packs. And that's great too, trust me, I, I get it. And uh, I don't bash anybody for having those feelings, just me personally, I enjoy secret layers. I enjoy them having value. Uh, I like to feel appreciated in that my dollar actually means something when I invested in something down the road. So just my opinions, just my thoughts. If you agree with me, great. If you don't agree with me, that's okay too. We could still be friends. Uh, that's the beauty of being human beings. We could all have different opinions and yeah, at the end of the day, life is good. All right, guys, till we crack again, peace.